getting out of your car in the 90s was like. Okay, uh, do people not use sunshades anymore? I still see wheel locks. Uh, I don't know, I was taking the faceplate off of my mom's car stereo in 2006. And you know what? I still see cars with the manual roll-ups, alright? Okay? Deal with it! Some stuff sticks around, okay? Why was there always a bite taken out of these? Now I have to point out, it probably wasn't a bite, it was probably starting to crack a little bit and someone just kept picking at it. You know how people are when it comes to picking at things. They never, ever stop. Speaking of never stopping, you know what I don't stop doing? Recommending that you head on over to mkshop.com to get yourself a legitimately incredible shirt or an even cooler hoodie, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. And using code BOOBIN at checkout. You know what it gets you. I don't need to tell you that at this point in time, do I? No. Maybe it's just the Gen Z in me, but how do people burn CDs? Like, how do you just get a blank CD and put songs on it? There are people alive that don't know how to burn CDs. I'm old. And you're not unique in that regard, okay? <laughs> There's always going to be someone who's like, How'd you do that? I don't understand. Oh my god, I'm old! Why don't you just tell them how to do it? But for this person, Alyssa, if you really are curious, we actually did light them on fire. There was a very strange process involved. Remember phone books that doxed our whole towns? Bro, when I was a kid, they really just mailed everyone a giant book full of everyone's full names, addresses, and phone numbers. I do have to say, that's still one of the wildest things that I can actually remember. I do think that some phone books might still exist, but in ad format, I guess, where it's just a bunch of ads and garbage and then business names and blah blah blah. Hey, I'll do you one better. You remember calling an operator to get a hold of somebody? That was kinda cool. Anyone else ever have one of these when they were growing up? Yeah, pretty sure you can still get them, too. Maybe with a little bit more effort, of course. <laughs> Remember, a lot of the things that make you feel old are still around. I bet future generations won't understand this immensely frustrating experience at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, future generations when the A-type is finally gone, sure. <laughs> They'll just know how crappy USB-C can be after, like, a year of continued use. You know how many USB-C ports have broken on me on my phone? It's ridiculous. A woman with $20 of groceries before going home to her $15,000 house in 1980. Okay, well, I don't know about $15,000 house, but I'm pretty sure the median home price in the year 1980 was like, what? Forty-five, forty-six thousand dollars or something like that? Knowing how groceries were back then, that was probably negative twelve dollars. Abandoned malls should be turned into Gen X retirement homes. Three stories tall, with a food court, movie theater, arcade, Orange Julius, a skate park, and a glamour shots just for the hell of it. A glamour shots. See, I think those were done by the time I was born. Possibly. At least in my area, they were. I do believe that abandoned malls should be used for something. Uh, seriously, use them for something. There's gotta be something we can do that benefits people, right? Bazooka. Who remembers when Bubblegum came with comics? <laughs> Me because I'm pretty sure I was able to get a butt-ton of these as a child. When do you think I grew up? I found out after 41 years that there are no holes in the pool tables in the Beat It video. <laughs> okay, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going to verify this right now. Wow. Yeah, that's really strange. <laughs> I thought they were screwing with me. Today, eight-year-olds are asking for the latest iPhone. When I was eight, I felt like I'd won the lottery if I had this pen. Same. Photos I took of my girlfriend, now wife, age 21 and 65. All right, let's take a look. See here. University, Tennessee. I was hoping for like an of or something. All right, yo, she's aged like two years in what, 40 plus? I'm sorry. Yeah, you'd think I'd be able to do that math in my head. I can't. I can't do it. Quit putting that much faith in me. Macaulay Culkin is now older than Catherine O'Hara was when she played his mother in Home Alone. Yeah, time is kind of crazy, isn't it? <laughs> As I get older, the more I understand these guys. I don't. Look, 
I think I talked about married with kids or married with children. I can't remember the name because it doesn't matter quite a bit. And it's fantastic boomer humor. It's boomer humor at its finest, lampooning the entire generation and how they treat marriage and blah, 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 blah. I'm not sympathizing with Al goddamn Bundy. That douchebag couldn't get over, what, was it scoring four touchdowns in a game in high school? Get over it, dude! Plus, he's a shoe salesman. That's pretty bad. Behold the mighty chain lamp, a staple in every home in the 1970s. Yeah, I got nothing on the chain lamp, man. Absolutely nothing. Maybe I saw one once in my life? <laughs> Remember the feral kid from Mad Max? Feel old? All right, shouldn't this subreddit actually be four things that make you feel old and not this? Because... I don't know, that just doesn't feel like it's in the right place. Imagine you travel back to 1989 and tell everybody that Roseanne will be better looking than Madonna. I, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. Don't care about either of them at all. And I feel really bad for one of them. I was put in a trance watching The Marble. Oh, man. You know what? Never actually played the board game. I would always set it up, set off the trap, be immediately bored after that, going, well, that was cool, and then stop. I'd put it back. I never played the game to this day. You ever take a nap so good you thought you missed the school bus, but it's Sunday and you're 52? Maybe when I'm 52, I'll have that experience, but just I've got a little bit longer to go. Can someone explain this tweet to me? Why it takes so long? The fuck is Napster? On this day, 15 years ago, my mom's picked up the phone and interrupted a file at 96% I'd been downloading from Napster for 17 hours. I will say, I'm very, very glad that I only experienced dial-up for a short period in my life. You know, for those of you that aren't aware, that are super young, dial-up was a little goofy, you know, for at least a little while for a lot of people. Uh, if you used the house phone, it would disconnect from the internet, because that's how the internet happened. You would use the phone. Man, it was weird, okay? It was weird. You may be old, but are you this old? That is the tiniest freaking image I've ever seen. Hold on. MS-DOS? I'm not that old, no. Do you know what this is? Have you ever used one? Jesus, why is this so <laughs> demanding? It's almost accusing of something. Yes, we've all used the guillotine cutter in class. <laughs> the machine that has a little machete on the side of it. Yes, yes, I feel like it's still in use. Spotted in a Philadelphia bar. $14 a pack. Holy shiza, what in the world? I've actually never seen a cigarette dispenser in the wild. I, I don't think I need to, but it's just weird that I haven't. The fact that people used to deliver pizzas before GPS is so absurd to me. People were literally calling up a pizzeria like, I want a large pizza delivered in 30 minutes. I'm gonna give you a house number and a random street name. Good goddamn luck. Those people were insane. It's one of the reasons I actually couldn't end up working for UPS. I tried to be a delivery driver for them once and they're like, yo, we're gonna give you a route. We will train you for three days and suck it. Who remembers when playgrounds looked like this? Uh, uh that's it? I don't think playgrounds have ever just been a merry-go-round, right? Pink Floyd updated their profile picture to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Dark Side of the Moon. And the replies are something. Okay. What's up with the rainbow? Lose the rainbow, you're making yourself look stupid. What is that Pink Floyd what a disgrace? From this moment, I don't listen to this band. Are you going woke with rainbows? Is there a straight flag? I want equal representation. Don't get me wrong. We should all be true to who we are. Peace. What do you mean, equal representation? You're straight. You've been getting that since humanity was invented by God, I guess, dude. Also, really? None of them understand? Are you serious? You can't consider yourself a goddamn fan of Pink Floyd and then ask them why there's a rainbow on the- You know what? It doesn't matter. Holy crap. The Gen Z slang term Riz is Oxford's 2023 word of the year. I don't care. And why is he there? Why is Tom Holland here? I don't understand this. Any fellow old people remember when computers told us this? It's now safe to turn off your computer. I remembered having a computer that did that for a little while. <sighs> Those were the days when you turned it on and it made more noise than a war zone. The internet used to come through the phone and it sounded like screaming robots. Sure, Grandma, let's get you to bed. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. The internet can still sound like that. 
Fax machines are still in use to this day. <laughs> I'm so old, I remember when Saturday Night Live was still funny. Grow the hell up, they were always mid. No matter what decade, generation, whatever you want to call it, Saturday Night Live was at worst embarrassing and at best all right, okay? How many of you sat by the radio waiting to hear the name of your school announced to find out if you had a snow day? I mean, not the radio, jeez. But I certainly would pop on the news on TV. You know, the free TV? You guys remember the free TV, right? Kid complaining about Spotify. They don't know the real struggle. I've got quite a few cassette tapes, my man. Also, I'll complain about Spotify because it sucks. This is what 30-year-olds looked like in the 80s. I mean, yeah, styles are weird, man. That's, I don't know what else to tell you. I have noticed, along with a lot of other people, that it just seemed like people looked way older back then, huh? Do you remember? I, I'd probably have an easier time remembering if this image wasn't so damn close. Why is it so zoomed in? Can you back up a little bit? No one could touch the TV. Without revealing your actual age, what's something you remember that if you told a younger person, they wouldn't understand. Video games only worked on Channel 3. I don't think that's an age thing. A, a lot of stuff that seems like an age thing can also come down to being a poor thing, because I had old TVs, old consoles, and I had to play video games on Channel 3 for a little while until I kind of was able to catch up with stuff, all right? You may be old, but are you this old? No, I was born two years before Windows 98. Unless Windows 98, for some strange reason, was not made in 1998. Which, I'll be real with you, that would be completely insane. The kids have no idea. Yes, they do. Maybe not as many anymore. I, I keep having to say, I had this, as though I'm like 12. I'm not. Obviously, you guys know that. But I'm pretty sure I went back to visit one of my schools somewhat recently, within the last five, six years, and they still have these on the walls. I think my grandmother has one on the wall. I don't know why. Who else couldn't wait to watch this every year? I know kids that like watching this every year. I own this on 4K now. You keep up with the times. How old are you? Me. Yeah, I could see that one. I, I did this. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic, everyone. Guess what? We're all old. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, it's catching up with me already.